live. I'm a little tired. I'm a lot tired. Do all the monsters come out at night? Why do we sleep when we want to? Hello, and welcome back to Vlogging Alina. It's been a while. Um, it's actually kind of late. It's 8. It's Tuesday. Um, I was meaning to vlog yesterday night. That's when I like decided I wanted to vlog this week. I don't know if I included the clip, but um, essentially what happened is I didn't know my camera was on low battery, so like I started talking and it just cut off. So, and it was like right before I was going to bed, so I wasn't about to wait for my camera to charge. And then this morning I just didn't vlog. But anywho, it's Tuesday. The main thing that's happening this week is I have a physiology exam on Thursday. That's what I'm about to go study for after I eat something and uh, fix this over here. Um, I have like dishes to do and laundry that I've just been ignoring because school. But that's the main thing that's happening this week. Um, earlier today I had class. Oh, that was the other thing too. Today was my first day of actual in-person lecture. I was really excited because I like actually like got to dress up professionally and go to school and feel like, you know, a real class and not online. Obviously we were wearing masks and stuff, but um, I don't know, it was just exciting to actually go in person for the first time. Literally, my entire graduate experience so far, I have not gone in person for an actual class, like a lecture. So it's exciting for me. Um, hopefully we will continue being in person for lecture for the rest of the semester. I do have the option to go back online on Zoom if I don't want to do it anymore, but I don't know. Right now I don't see myself switching back to Zoom. Maybe if it gets like super busy, but even then I'm, I want to get used to being in person because at some point I'm going to have to do it again, so. After class today I went and got lunch with a few of my friends and then I basically came back took a huge nap because I was really full and just tired because I woke up at like 6 a.m. this morning so I've just had like a long day um, and now I've worked a little bit on some other stuff I've basically been avoiding physiology and doing like everything else but studying for it so now I'm finally gonna get on the grind it's 8 p.m. but I'll probably study for a few hours and then go to bed and tomorrow's the last day of studying that I have so yeah, another cool thing that I've done recently is this right here, this glass art. It looks so freaking cool. This is Hawks from My Hero Academia. Um, I'm kind of getting into, hold on, there we go. I'm kind of getting into glass art. It's just like really fun. Wow, this looks a lot better on camera than it looks uh, really close up because, oh yeah, see, you can kind of see it. I think it's because it's cheap paint. So like you can see where it didn't fully um, stick or I didn't put enough paint. Anywho, so I traced a copy of the picture on the back and then I painted it on the back as you can see here. And then this is the, a new one that I'm going to be working on. Basically like anytime I have like a break I'm going to come here and like work on this. I haven't started it besides making sure that's even. This took so long actually because my printer wouldn't print like the right size of the pictures like they'd either be too small or too big and I want them to be even because this is a 12 by 12 piece of glass so I want each one to be 12 by 4 and so I was having a hard time like getting it to print right and then like centering the faces because like this top one I still like ugh, it's centered it's just his face isn't even but like these two these are good so I'm, I'm probably just gonna leave it be but basically I'm gonna outline like the body and then I'm gonna paint the background a different color because like this stuff I don't want to do these details like I don't want to it's just I don't I don't think I need to do that plus this one has like nothing anywho so that's kind of like a little side thing that I've been uh doing because I saw it on TikTok and I've always been good at tracing too like that's kind of when I would draw, like growing up, I would be tracing things like literally exactly like this. I still can't get over how cool it looks. Anywho, so that was random, but we're back in the vlogging world. So yeah, I'll see y'all in my next clip. Hello everybody, I'm back here in the same space that I filmed the last clip because I didn't film at school during class, which I guess means I was paying attention. Um, but anyway, day before the exam, I'm a little nervous. 
Um, we had a quiz uh, today. Well, we have a quiz. It's due tomorrow morning. And you usually have three tries, right, to take it. Oh, I'm talking about um, physiology, by the way. And I got 100 the first try. I was so proud of myself. I, like, took the quiz in, like, four minutes. So, like, I feel like I kind of rushed through it. But clearly I know some stuff. So that's exciting. Anywho, tomorrow's going to be a really freaking busy day because I have an... I have my physiology exam in the morning, and then I have an hour break, and then after that, I have um, a meeting about our IPs at the end of the semester, just like, I guess, information about it, but I have that at 1, from 1 to 2, and then at 2, 2, um, I have my first in-person lab, and we're going to be preparing sterile injections i hope i don't poke myself um and i was really hoping i would have time like right before labs to just review whatever we're doing so i know like what to expect going in because obviously like you have to dress a certain way you know you can't have nail polish you do i just wanted to review everything basically um and then after that i have like homework that i have to do when i get back because there's stuff due friday and i have class friday so tomorrow's just gonna be an interesting day. I just, no break, nothing. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it goes well. For now, today is just focused on studying for my exam tomorrow, obviously. I finished that quiz and then I have a quiz to finish for, before I have lab tomorrow. And um, I have an exam review at six, but that's pretty much it. I mean, today's just focusing on the exam. I was gonna vlog at the school, but I just forgot. I mean, it'd be like that. Hopefully tomorrow. After my exam, I maybe get a little bit of footage while I'm there. So yeah, we'll see. I might update while I'm studying, but for now, that's it. It's Wednesday, by the way. So yeah. Hello! What was that voice? It's the same day. I have an update on studying. Um, I'm kind of excited because I feel like stuff is kind of clicking and making sense. Here is the setup. We got food. We got my work stuff, over, or my school stuff over here. Maybe if I should just flip the camera over, that would make sense. Right now, I'm going over my learning objectives. I have been basically rereading my notes, um, just trying to clarify like a few things. But I feel like for the most part, it makes sense. So that's exciting. Hopefully, you know, let me turn this down. I will do well tomorrow. I'm really, I'm striving for an A, but we'll see what happens. I just, last semester I didn't do too hot in this class, and I just really want to get an A this time around. I feel like renal functions and renal physiology is making sense to me. Um, it's definitely become a lot clearer just right now during this study session, but I basically have just been reviewing quizzes, and... We had like some assignments today where there were like basically case studies of uh, people with different um, issues related to, to renal function and we were supposed to figure out like what's going on. Um, anywho, so I, was, I reviewed those as well. I review, reviewed all our quizzes and what else did I do? I went through my, all my notes. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I, I was trying to take my time. Oh, I've been redrawing this concept map that we have to draw during the test. It's like, it's probably going to look really scary, but hold on. Let, let me show y'all what it looks like. Um, So this is my version of it. Hers is a little bit more messy, and I just wanted to clean it up. But basically, this is what we did last semester, and then we were just attaching all this stuff, which it, it looks a little complicated. It's definitely scarier looking on her version of it. I've pretty much, I think I've got most of this down. I did it over here one time, but um, I had to look back at this. So I'm gonna probably do it maybe like two or three more times and I should be set. I'm mostly having difficulty remembering these because they happen in this order. And yeah, I just, the rest of the stuff just kind of comes naturally just because like most of this is just review. Like it looks really complicated, but this is literally what we spent all of class so far learning. And we're just putting it in like a drawing format. So it's really not that bad. It's just a matter of like practicing it. But anywho, what I'm going to do 
the last two things that I need to do is draw that map uh, a few times and then go over our learning objectives, which these are from like the textbook. So some of this stuff is relevant to what she's taught in class, um, but a, a lot of it I feel, well not a lot of it, a good chunk of it is just kind of supplementary information to help you understand what's going on better, but she's not necessarily going to test on it. Like she's not testing us on like um, renal drugs, but you know, it's kind of like a thing that might help with understanding. Anywho, I didn't finish all the learning objectives for this test. There's five. Um, the first two are the longest, the documents, and then the last three are not that bad. But I mean, it's the it's the night before the exam. I'm not about to go through them right now because it's it's pretty late and I need to get my sleep so I can like function properly during the exam. But I'm not too worried about it. I'm just gonna like go through them and kind of mentally an answer the ones that I haven't like actually answered because I have done some. Like this is the first set and I've done most of them. And I did the fifth set and then I've done some stuff in between. I'm gonna take a shower, go to bed, made some tea here. Um, I've been surprisingly doing pretty well studying. I usually have a hard time with distractions and stuff. I will probably update y'all either before the exam or I mean, you'll, you'll see, so yeah, bye. Hello everybody, it is dark outside. It's currently six and I really need to get better at vlogging in public, but it is what it is. So, it is the same day as my exam. It is the evening. Um, update on the exam, I think it went pretty well. Um, originally there was like six questions I wasn't sure about out of the 40, but then I just like, I went through the exam and I was like, I'll go back to those questions. And I went back to, um, a few of them I just straight up didn't know just because it was like some stuff on old material that I just forgot, so I just hope I guessed right. But um, three of them, I was like, wait, I understand this, and then I, I realized uh, what the answer was, or at least hopefully what the answer is. So then those three I knocked out, and so now there's only about three that I'm unsure about, which is relatively good. So I think there's a chance that I got an A, which is what I was striving for. So, you know, cheers to that, but it's been a really long day because I had a, a meeting after that. I didn't have enough time to, like, drive home because after the meeting I had lab and we did sterile compounding for the first time today. It was definitely a little awkward because I've never done it before. I have worked in a pharmacy, um, but I'm not like certified or anything. I've just, I've never done that. So yeah, it was a little weird. And there was a few times that like my professor was right behind me and <laughs> I just get really nervous and I sweat a lot. So. Yeah, I definitely made a few little stupid mistakes, but you know, better now than when I'm like a P4 on my rotations, you know, when it actually really matters. So, anywho, basically the point of what I'm saying is I was, it was a really long day for me and I was really tired by the time I got home. Because I've basically been up since like 6.30, 7.30, something like that. My alarm went off at 6.30, but I got up a little later and I studied at the school for like two hours before my exam, which is what, like, 8, um, yeah, it was like 8.30ish when I got there, and I got back at 4ish, so I just crashed as soon as I got home, and I'm basically just now getting up from that nap, and it's 7, so I'm gonna, wait, is it 7? I don't think this is right. Yeah, it's 7, so I'm gonna go get something to eat, come back, luckily I don't have a lot due tomorrow but I'm gonna study a little bit tonight and then I have another exam on Monday but I don't think it'll be as information loaded as this one since it's only a one credit course so that's good but other than that that's pretty much all that's happened today hello I'm so tired. <laughs> I was up until 12.30 last night because <laughs> I started working on my um, glass painting and I was watching Attack on Titan um, <laughs> and I stopped peeking trap time 
And I have an 8.30 this morning and I slept like three hours. <laughs> I have class in like 30 minutes. I have class till noon. I have to start with physiology to wake me up, so that's nice. After that, I just thought this would be a fitting angle for uh, my lack of sleep. I have to get COVID tested at 12.30. And then after that, I have to come back here and I would say that I can just go back to sleep. But I have a lab due at five that I didn't do yesterday because I was watching anime. <laughs> so I need to do that. And then after that, I'll be off the hook. That's what's going on right now. It's Friday. We made it. I'm alive. I'm a little tired. I'm a lot tired. I don't know. I have taken clips of the school, I think. Um, yeah. I, every time we walk in, I have to do a daily screening. And then after that, I can go to class but they check your temperature and everything, like most places, so, yeah. And then we'll close the day at looking at this structure and it's actually suspended in the thoracic cavity. So all of this is between the neck and kind of the belly button is where you find all of this. Bradford told <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I got it though. On oh my god, it's so cold! So long ago, but yes, he was I'm, a reality star. Everyone we're getting the Boba now. Reality show, the Apprentice. Yes, he was so on the inaugural one. season. Huh? And as you said, <laughs> why is that? Is that the one y'all ordered? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Oh, is that the blanket? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I love it. Oh, stay in the middle, please. I'll just have to leave this way. Listen to the Yasuza soundtrack. It's Elena back with the bad angles. Hello. It is Saturday evening and I have not been productive. I spent um, a lot of this afternoon drawing, but I'm gonna get it together now and I'm gonna go uh, work on stuff at a, well, it's a coffee place slash uh, bar. I have my exam on Monday, so hopefully I do well. We'll see. I had a nice Friday night. I went and hung out with some friends, and then I went home, and I slept really late. Um, that's why I'm kind of having a whole late start, late day today, but I'm gonna go and try to be a little bit productive, so, and I have tomorrow, so that's good, but, um, other than that, that's pretty much it. I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!